In this video clip, we will add a source to the reaction editor. A source is used to the add the exact amount of reagent required for reactions. In this project, I have a tank with two reactions that require oxygen. The first one is ferrous sulfate plus oxygen plus sulfuric acid goes to ferric sulfate plus water. And the second one is sodium sulfide plus oxygen going to sodium sulfate. So if I push solve and I run the project, you'll see I have three errors. My atmospheric leach tank has gone red. And if I click on the errors, that's all my extent is not achieved. And that is because in the tank I don't have any oxygen for those reactions to proceed. So if I right click on this tank and I edit RCT, and in the reaction editor, you'll see the reactions there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go and add a source to this reaction editor. So I'll go add other. And in this dialog box, you can see I can add a source, a sink or a heat exchange. So I'm going to click on a source and say OK. And now I have the source there. So I can go and I can either use the autocomplete functionality and type in oxygen or I can drag it. From the right hand side here so i'll drag it in click on the o2 hold down my left mouse button and drag it into the source box and now i've got my source of oxygen you can only add one source to a reaction block but you can add as many species as you want into that source so i'll save my project if i minimize now and now you'll see on the atmospheric leach tank, I've got this tab called SRC, which stands for source, and it's shown here the oxygen that I'll need. So if I push solve, I'll go and run it. You'll see there, and now it's saying I require 0.14 tons per hour of oxygen at 4.23 kilomoles per hour. And that's the amount of energy that they've brought in with it. If I look at my R2 page, I've now got my ferrous to ferric reaction occurring my sodium sulfide reaction. And so the, that's what a source does for you. It adds the correct amount of a reactant. 